All right, gang, so let's talk a little bit about uh, getting everything uh, set up and, uh, and creating your first project within, uh, within IntelliJ. Um, IntelliJ actually is, is considered to be one of the, one of the best uh, Java IDEs around, uh, so, so it's pretty cool. Um, we'll take a look at that. So, assuming that you've that you've done the install for uh, for the Java the the Java JDK the Java Development Kit, um, there's one little trick that uh, that I generally like to do, and that is to uh, to set an environment variable um, so that so that all of the Java tools kind of know where Java is installed. Okay, so we'll do a couple of things. Um, first thing I'm going to do is uh, let me just open up my file explorer here, right, and I'm going to navigate to uh, to where uh, Java has been installed, right? So I'm running a 64-bit uh, version of Windows. So there's program files, and I should be able to come down to Java, right? And there it is, the JDK 1.8.0 underscore 112. Okay, so that folder uh, contains um, contains the uh, contains Java itself. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, I'm going to copy that. Then I'm going to do a search for uh, env for environment variables. I'm going to go ahead and edit the system environment variables. Okay, so when I click that, it should take a second or two to come up. There we go. Okay, so I'll go to uh, environment variables. Um, so basically, since I'm changing the system environment variables, uh, the uh, the area that I want to focus in is the one down here. Okay, now there's uh, there's basically two variables that uh, that I want to deal with. Okay, first is um, Java Home. Okay, so you can see I already actually have this set up. If you don't, and most likely you you probably don't. Um, so yours will look something like this. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll click on New, and uh, you'll give the uh, add in the uh, variable name. Java underscore home, and uh, then you're going to paste into here uh, the location of where you have uh, where you've installed your uh, your JDK. Okay, so just like that, I've just pasted that in um, and uh, and click OK. Okay, basically uh, what that does, a lot of Java tools will actually look to see if there is a an environment variable named Java underscore home um, saying where Java basically is installed. Okay, the other thing um, is helpful also if you're dealing with any uh, running Java programs from the command line and so forth, um, and that is basically editing your path. Okay, so here in the path, I'm going to come in and I'm going to click edit. Okay, and I'm just uh, so basically this is the uh, this is the part here. Okay, so again, um, I'll just kind of delete this out uh, just as uh, as yours would kind of look. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click uh, new, and um, so I'll do percent Java underscore home percent. Okay, so in Windows that basically says get the na get uh, whatever that uh, that variable is, um, and then I'm going to say slash bin. Okay, so the bin folder gets added uh, for that. Okay, and then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this. I'm just going to take that one and kind of move it up to the top. Okay, now I'm working on Windows 10. I think Windows 8 pretty much works the same. If you have an earlier version of Windows like Windows 7, what you'll see is um, all of your uh, all of your things in the uh, in the path are just one long string all separate semicolons, okay? So you'll just have to make sure to put semicolons in between. Um, if you're working on a Mac or one of those, you can kind of look up how to do that, okay? So um, having done all that, so notice I'll click uh, OK. Um, I can actually verify that, uh, that that's working. Um, I can come over to my command prompt here, and I can do Java C dash version. Um, I can also do Java version. Um, and so I see that yes, in fact, I am running uh, the, that it is report that that it did work. It is in fact uh, reporting that uh, that Java is working and, and so forth. Okay, now I'm set to uh, I'm set to create my first project um, in IntelliJ. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and run IntelliJ here. All right. In my case, I happen to have the ultimate uh, version installed. As I said, you can just download the the community version. Um, it's just a faster download. It, you don't necessarily need all the stuff from the from the ultimate version. Um, but hey, if you want it, you know, go for it too. All right. So uh, basically, we're just going to go ahead and say create a new project. 
Okay, um, and you'll notice that it, again, if you have the if you have the ultimate version, you'll kind of have a little bit more stuff like I have uh, like I have listed here. Um, if you have the community version, it'll be a little bit scaled down. Either way, um, this first part's kind of irrelevant. I mean, other than the fact that I want Java selected here, but none of these templates actually are, are really going to help me for for what it is that uh, for what it is that I'm doing. Okay, so then I'll go ahead and click next, um, and you know, so notice it asks, okay, do, what do we want to do and so forth. So I can uh, I can do uh, these various, uh, you know, there are these various options. For instance, let's pick a Hello World application, right? It asks, uh, where are you going to put it, right? So notice it's going to put it on my uh, on my desktop. Um, that's fine. I'll just give it a folder. So I'll call it a Hello World. And uh, we'll go ahead and click Finish. Notice it is, in fact, going to create that folder. That's great. Okay, so it uh, takes a minute or so, and uh, it should create, there it is. There's, um, there's a Hello World application, right? So it creates um, a class called main, and uh, there, is, uh, there is Hello World. Okay, so then for running this, of course, we can uh, just come over here and, uh, and click the Run button, um, and it should uh, then build all of this, and notice it prints out the message Hello World. Um, down below. Okay, so that's basically the steps for uh, for creating a new project. Of course, you want to create a new file and so forth. You can right click uh, on source and go to new, create new Java class, etc. Right. So you kind of get the basic idea for that. All right. So hopefully that's easy enough. You'll be able to do that. There's going to be an assignment for you to uh, for you to kind of demonstrate that uh, that everything's working. Um, and hey, if you got questions, just shoot them up to uh, to Piazza.